Welcome to the tutorial. This is the first tutorial that I've done and it's for Shopping Cart Creator Pro. This is a website I've been working on and it's basically just selling some old CDs so please feel free to check it out. I'll just show you around the site first so if you want whatever you want basically just have a look through and we've got the subsections there for whatever genre of music you want. Now all this as you know was created in Shopping Cart Creator Pro uh, so uh, Here's the coffee cup website with shopping cart creator pro on there uh, now what i would recommend really is shopping cart creator is really good uh, but for all the additionals you really do need the pro version so if you've not upgraded or if you think about buying a version pro one is the one to go for it is a bit more expensive hence being pro uh, but it is worth every penny uh, so that's the website if you want to go there it's coffeecup.com forward slash shopping cart creator pro as you can see at the top of my page there uh, right now if you have a look down the site though there is a comparison chart uh, so create an online start in 30 minutes yep that is easy and uh, it can be done as you can see from between the standard and pro versions there are a lot of differences from here now obviously the more options you have for people to pay for goods the more custom you're going to get uh, now when i was originally using the the standard version i only really used my paypal account uh, but now i also use google checkout uh, I have looked at authorized.net, world pay and obviously to check out, but they do have monthly fees, whereas your PayPal and Google checkout, they just take an, you know part of what you've actually sold. Uh, so that is better if you're just starting out. Obviously, once you become more established, then I would advise you looking into things like this. Now, uh, the subcategories you've already seen on the website, where you can select which genre of music you want. Uh, which is excellent the as you can see the standard version doesn't have that on and that is one of the main downfalls of the standard version uh, but it, it is really good now another thing which i uh, use a lot is the inventory tr inventory tracker and uh, that is really really good especially with things that i sell because it's the majority of them are just one off so uh, if someone goes to buy it it automatically tracks it uh, once it's been sold it puts a sold out graphic onto the uh, onto the website so people can see it's been sold out and so you're not selling more than one if you've only got one left Right, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to create our first shop. So I'm just going to load uh, Coffee Cup Cart Creator Pro in. There we go. And um, basically that's what you're being presented with. Now I've already saved it out, but uh, basically that's when you create a, a new shop. So first thing what, what you need to do really, obviously have a look at the tips of the day if you want. Uh, but uh, what I generally do is if you go to your shop... I just wait for that to come up and in there I'll call it as is tutorials shop okay so name the shop and then if you go into themes they have a list of themes that you can select from so you've got your back to school one uh, better pro which I don't really like the look of that one uh, but I think what we'll do is uh, we'll select that one just as an example okay as you can see even though you've selected a theme nothing has actually changed on the, on the actual editing sc uh, screen so what we're going to do now is uh, obviously we're going to show you how to add products and categories so say for example we create a DVD store so call it DVD and then 
and then you've got obviously an item to sell there so we call this the terminator and it is back for example so all you need to do to add an image if you click on that and uh, obviously I'm just in my temporary folder on my external drive there but uh, if you go into pictures I don't have a Terminator image as far as I know uh, but uh, there are just a few things that's on my shop and various other things as well so uh, I'll ju just for argument's sake I'll load that up there we go so that's your image loaded now another thing is obviously I live in the UK so uh, dollars I don't really want to deal with dollars so again go into your shop which I should have showed you before and select whichever currency you'll be accepting and uh, mine is pound sterling this inventory tab here um, is uh, basically your inventory tracking that that screen does change once you've uploaded and published the site uh, these are your pages how you want them to be displayed so if you want to uh, feature products so if you want to feature a product just click that star there and that will show on the page however you've configured it okay so another thing is uh, basically there's more to that than meets the eye if you double click there we go so Arnie is back as a cyborg to kill Sarah Connor. So in this box you can basically type uh, a full explanation about the product. Now if you're wondering what these question marks are here, uh, they're basically easy enough to work out, they're just to upload other images of the same product. So if you've got multiple images you can upload them there. Now uh, as you can see there's it's still set as zero for the price so if I call this 2.99 there we go and there you can see it there so you can even add discount so if I want to put a 10% discount on there there we go it automatically works it out there so I'll leave that as is and obviously you can add additional charges there for taxes shipping and, and handling uh, again if you want it to be a featured product just highlight that there okay uh, now you can actually put products onto the store and don't publish them if you just click that there or if you're in the main screen basically just take that there there we go uh, now uh, to be honest this is just a really basic shop so what we, what we need to do is uh, add a category so there we go just right click add category uh, so in fact what I'm going to do I'm not going to add a category I'm going to delete that I'm going to add a subcategory so there we go add subcategory call this action and then add another subcategory call this comedy and another subcategory there we go and call this drama there we go so as you can see all that is open now so if, you, if you're just wanting standard shop uh, sta a standard shop a bit like the uh, shopping cart creator standard uh, then you can just create your dvds only one thing but what i like to do is for things like this i do like to uh, uh, split them up into uh, different categories as to what they fall into so I need to do drag and drop that in there there we go uh, now if you click that arrow there it just collapses it and collapses that and collapses that there we go so you've just got that one open or if you click that just close it down now one problem I did find with shopping cart creator and shopping cart creator pro was if you did sell out and uh, you manage to get hold of uh, some more items of, of the same product uh, now rather than have to create it all again 
uh, all you need to do is that set there it's not allowing me in it at the moment uh, basically because the shop hasn't been published uh, but uh, where there's a one that will that will most likely be blank and you will have a, a sold out um, graphic on your uh, on your shop so but basically all you need to do is just change that to a one or however many products you've got and uh, that will sort that out uh, I don't know why they didn't call it stock rather than set but there we go but uh, just a little minor issue there if you do come across it uh, now um, what we'll do is I'll save this out so do a save shop there we go and we'll preview it so preview in default browser There we go. So that that's the base, basically the main shop. It's on the main screen because obviously, as you know, I did set it as a featured product. Uh, so you get your categories there: DVD, action. Click on that, and that will take you to all your action DVDs. Okay, and that's as simple as it is. It does get a bit more in depth as well. So uh, basically, if you go into your shop. You've seen the themes, uh, but there's also a payment uh, where you can create uh, whatever payment you want. So you've got PayPal uh, website payments, a standard PayPal Express, Google Checkout, Authorize.net, to checkout, and World Pay. As said before, Google Checkout and the PayPal sites don't have a monthly fee, uh, but be aware that the others may well do. Uh, then you can lucky your shipping charges there we go so you can calculate the shipping so say if i wanted uh, for example uk delivery 99p there we go that will automatically add that to the product uh, once uh, once it goes through the sales uh, you can alter the taxes for your particular locations as well and also these are your service settings here I've not got anything set up at the moment, but uh, there we go. If I could, could go into my Dazzy CDs website and that would upload it there. And uh, what I would do as well is uh, where it says shop there. So say it would be all the W's, Dazzy's tutorials dot co dot uk forward slash shop. That would take you to the shop. I generally put mine into the default folder then you don't have to do a front page or anything like that and it's straight onto the shop uh, that's something that uh, one of the coffee cup members advised me to do so uh, I will go with that uh, then they basically just get your general settings as you've already seen one provider I would actually uh, advise you checking out is one.com actually and their servers do seem pretty much compatible with uh, with the coffee cup things but if you check them out and see what you think uh, obviously I'm you know it's up to you who you go with but uh, make sure that it is fully compatible and that's it basically that's how you create a shop um, again to add a new product just click that add product there we go and uh, that's it so i hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, look out for more tutorials coming soon